everybody, welcome to the Penske File. I'm Penske. We're gonna win a million dollars on who wants to be a millionaire Xbox version. Xbox 360 version to be precise. Our host Joe, welcome dapper as always with his uh, pinstripe suit, is welcoming us to a Let's beautiful play. game set here and asking us to answer a bunch of questions to win a million dollars. Fifteen questions in fact, but first we have to get there. Arrange these phrases to form the title of a classic children's book. Redfish, bluefish, one fish, two fish, redfish, bluefish, I think, red, one fish, two fish, redfish, bluefish. All right, well, let's good. Let's see the result. I did not remember whether it was the colors or numbers that came first. Redfish, bluefish, one fish, two fish, one fish, two fish, redfish, bluefish. That's quite a little tongue twister. It took me 12 seconds to get there, too. You probably read the book faster than it took me to answer the question. Start your stuff, my man. This is your show, this is your world, I'm just living in it. And let's get down to the, the nitty gritty of the trivia that we're all here to watch and There's ruminate no on and think about and, and then answer to help you. incorrectly. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I, I enjoy making these, um, these episodes. I love this trivia stuff. I love the dramatic music, I love the lighting. I love everything. I love you all. <laughs> What is the answer to a groan inducing math riddle that asks, where can you buy a ruler that is three feet long? A yard sale. That, that's that is groan inducing. You've got that's our dad jokes uh, material. You've had no problems so far. If you guys aren't familiar with that, go to Reddit's uh, subreddit, dad's, dad jokes. Always good for a laugh. Traditionally used to fight the stomach flu. The bland BRAT diet includes bananas, rice, applesauce, and what? Huh. It's bland. You've still got to fight the, the stomach flu. Is it toast? Bananas, rice. I have never heard of this. Used to fight the stomach flu. The bland brat diet. B-R-A-T includes bananas, rice, applesauce, and I would guess toast? I don't know. I have to use a, I have to use a stupid sure? lifeline already. And the audience is going to 100% it just to rub it in my face. Choose your answer now. This also takes too long. I, I, there's no reason for this to go on this long. Just, just show me what they say. This is not real life. The most D. Toast. It is toast. Okay, seventy-six percent. That's the right answer. I've never heard of that. What part of the country is that popular in? That sounds like something coming out of Kentucky or some, some place like that. What animal's name comes from the Indonesian phrase meaning "person of the forest"? What the hell? Indonesian phrase meaning "person of the forest" it wouldn't be a giraffe. I don't think it's a sloth. Orangutan? Must be. Alright, well good. Done. That's the right Person answer. of the forest. Orangutan. You might as well play it. Here They're one step away, right? Like chimpanzees are our closest relative and bonobos, I think, the other one. And then orangutans are like the next level of uh, our animal nature. Which of the following phrases refers to a chocolatey treat popular around the holidays? Peppermint? Peppermint, what the hell? How many hard, difficult questions am I got? Peppermint branch, what is he doing? Wiping off dandruff? Peppermint bark? Peppermint trunk? Peppermint leaf? It must be. Okay, I got it wrong. That was... I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. That was embarrassing. Peppermint the right bark? What the hell is peppermint bark? You walk away with nothing. I walk away with nothing? This is incredibly upsetting. I, I don't know how to react to that. I, I feel terrible. Well, I'm, so, I'm sorry you guys that do uh, watch that. I got zero points and zero imaginary dollars, and I left with some lifelines, which is all the more foolhardy. Peppermint bark? I've never heard of that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.